يا ربي الله الله ومن قلبي قلت توضى كده من ملها اصلى الفجر ولفت مصر وحواليها الله الله على الازهر الله اكبر ام الدنيا كمان واكتر لو قلت اوصفها انا مش هنصفها واكفيها الله الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاه والسلام على خاتم النبيين اما بعد Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, I'm with my beloved brother William, who I call Will. And um, uh, we're going to show you a shot. Uh, we're going to do a little camera thing. We're going to show you a shot from, from 2006 when brother Will had taken the shahada. How, how is Islam changing your life? Well, um, I think for, before I before I uh, I came into Islam, I mean I've always been looking for some some spirituality. I've always been spiritual, right. uh, but I guess I never realized or knew what outlet to put my spirituality in. Mm -hmm. um, Islam has given me the path and has given me guidance to actually focus that spiritualism into you know paying respect, uh, praying before God. Right. Uh, where Islam teaches you to pray five times, at least five times a day, um, whether times are going good or times are going bad. So it just keeps you connected. Mm -hmm. And I mean, let's face it. I mean, uh, the more I think of it and the more I, I, I look at the world, right. I mean, let's face it, there's got to be a God. Uh, there has to be a higher power. So Allah says in the Quran, which means Allah is unique, He begets nor is He begotten, and He requires no sustenance, and He also is unlike any of His creation. And, and He, you know, the Creator is not like His creation. If you look at a, the Creator of a table, the table is nothing like the Creator of it. The Creator is always up, much further above than His creation. You can see the difference. Uh, we have aged, we have become older, more cranky. And uh, so I brought Will here, a close brother, like a family member, uh, to you know, say something about the center because I'm always making the plea. But th this is, a, this is a, a, a product out of the center. I mean, this is somebody who is now like a, a foundation for our community. So. This is what you are, inshallah, investing in, meaning people like Will and, and brothers and sisters like, like this brother. So inshallah, brother Will, if you want to say a, a plea, and make it, make it in, you know, in passion. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Bismillah. wa ala wa ala alihi wa for asking me to come and speak. It's, a, it's my pleasure to speak on such a, a a, a good uh, good thing um, I was just thinking about uh, how important it is to have a base to have a place uh, good things come when people come together and this is uh, the best of places because it's a place where people come and, and mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in fact it made me uh, reflect on Surah Al-Nahr in the Quran where Allah he tells the bees uh, and your Lord inspired the bee Take for yourself among the mountains, houses, and among the trees, and in that which they construct. Then eat from the, all the fruits and follow the ways of your Lord laid down for you. There emerges from their bellies a drink, varying in colors, in which there is healing for people. Indeed, in that is a sign for people who give thought. And this is really what the center is all about, because the first thing that Allah tells us, or tells the bees to do, is to build a home. So the bee needs to have a home, and this is the first thing that happens when a queen leaves her home. If there's two queens, the first objective is for them to find a place. And, and you have to first ground yourself and have a space. And this is what the center is. It's, it's a space, it's a home. And what happens after you have a space, that's when the programs can come into play. This is what happens with the bees. Uh, they can then go and do their work, but they need a house first to do their work. And what is the end? What do the, the bees give? to humanity, they give a drink of varying colors, which is a healing for mankind. And as Muslims, we should be like bees, because the objective is through, through our understanding of our deen, we are beneficial 
to people. But it all comes from having a sound house. And this is what the center is. It, it's it's the, the beehive. And the end result, inshallah, would be that, that drink of varying colors as a healing for mankind. And I know from speaking with Brother Zia, uh, many times this is the objective of the center. Is The final objective is to have a place where goodness can come from it. That humanity can benefit. Not just Muslims, but people, humans. They can benefit from what we as Muslims are supposed to be. Balanced people of the middle path. So I would sincerely uh, ask you all to, to look at a bigger picture, to see where we want to come, and to understand that uh, in this world there's very little chance. Uh, chances now, things are happening very quickly. This is your chance now to do something, to contribute to, to a, a, a place of, of goodness, uh, which will be, benefit uh, humankind. Alhamdulillah. So, Jazakumullah khairan, Brother Will. Uh, you've seen our old pictures together. We are friends, and uh, we as people also mistake us sometimes from, <coughs> from the back. Uh, Will used to have some of my kurtas before, and uh, he used to walk with them, so they used to mistake us. Uh, we're both big and, and rotund, um, but we would like you to help us in this. Now, what the, the key here is that we want to get at least halfway. It is a tragic thing right now. I, I don't feel the best. But I'm trying to be, uh, you know, as 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 light as possible. That we have come to this stage with such a be beautiful center. They're finishing off the sidewalk there. Everything is looking great, and the occupancy permit just waiting for that sidewalk to to cure and to and to get ready. And still, we have not even reached halfway of the of the of the last bill. Now, what I propose is to realistically maybe get to uh, 250,000. We're at 165, maybe 170 today. I don't know what the Jumas will bring. Uh, but at the same time, if we can get to 250, which is another <clears throat> uh, 80,000, we need 200 people to pay $400. We can, we can get there. So by September 12th, if we say, look, have this, and then give us two months after that. This is the only long extension we will ask because we're drained. We want to start our program. Our school starting on the 8th. Many things are actually happening, brothers and sisters. It's not time now to hold or, or, or to covet anything that you have. It's time now to give, inshallah. And you see the fruits here. Brother Will is now doing da'wah. He actually did uh, uh, the Jum'ah today. And, and you know, he's continuing on in his trek in the da'wah. He's the foundation, uh, one of the pillars of our community. And this is, uh, you will be reaping, inshallah, with more people like Will and, and different sisters who are actually solid in our communities coming and doing the right thing. You have the proof in front of you. What else would you like more than that, inshallah? May Allah give you tawfiq, inshallah, to donate. Donate as much as you can. Ask your brothers, your mothers, your fathers, your sisters, your friends, whoever, and get it to us, inshallah, so that we can finish this thing, get our program established, and move forward, inshallah. We will be giving you updates also shortly, coming up within a few days. As the d deadline comes, you will see more and more of me and more frantic uh, uh, pleading, inshallah. Please. Have mercy on your brother here, who is actually now has a changed, is, is a changed person because of the amount of stress that I have taken over the years. So Jazakumullah khairan, inshallah, we wish that you partake in these good deeds. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.